find the odd word from the given alternatives now options are fire light gas and water fire light gas and water i would mark gas as the odd one i would mark gas as the odd one because you know if you understand there is a category so what are we trying to do we are trying to find out if there is a common property or something common in three of the options so that we can group them we can classify them and the one which is left out can be the odd one or will be the odd one so here i feel that gas is the odd one because fire light and water are natural elements you understand naturally uh, available you, you know it's like water fire light but gas is not so so gas is the odd one here right fire light and water can be grouped as one category right next find the odd letters from the given alternatives now find the odd letters from the given alternatives we have got words which are made up of four letters each and these are not meaningful words I mean, some random letters have been chosen so we got to identify the relationship between letters in each of these words and based on that we should uh, classify i mean that's the logic which is usually used here right so try to find that i think again it's about numerical positions 95 percent of the times the questions here are based on numerical positions so try to do that like e c b y right so this is like 5 3 2 25 r t u x r is 18 t is 20 u is 21 x is 23 sorry x is 24 right then g e d a it's like 7 5 4 and 1 and w u t q right so 23 21 20 and uh, 17 right so now now try to identify how are these letters related to each other right what is the relationship between their numerical positions what is the relationship between their numerical positions so so if you if you observe i think one simple observation is the difference between the numerical positions of the first two letters is always two five minus three is two right 18 difference 20 is 2 7 difference 5 is 2 23 difference 21 is 2 of course r t u x is the one where uh, where it is like uh, you know it, it's minus 2 basically 5 minus 3 is 2 18 minus 20 is minus 2 7 minus 5 is 2 23 minus 21 is 2 so that way if you see r t u x looks to be the odd one but let's try and identify if there is any logic between the uh, I mean, of course, there will be some logic. What is the logic between the other two letters? Maybe that will help us come to a concrete decision, right? Now, what is the difference here? Uh, yeah, I think if you look at the other things also, we have uh, four. I mean, if you look at this, I mean, here the difference was two, right? Plus two. This is minus two. This is plus two. And this is minus two. So, sorry, plus two, right? So that way. Uh, option two looks to be the odd one but let's let's just see if that is correct 20 difference 17 20 minus 17 is plus 3 4 minus 1 is again plus 3 21 minus 24 is minus 3 right and 2 difference 25 2 minus 25 well 2 minus 25 is minus 23 but you understand that these are letters of the english alphabet right so it has to be considered like a cycle right it, it's like a cycle a to z and again back to a you understand a to z and back to a so it's like a b c d and so on up to x y z and again comes a so that way uh, you got to check this so if you if you observe uh, it's like this is 25 26 this can be taken as 27 and 28 while b's position is numerical position is 2 but if i complete the first cycle and come again this 2 can be made as uh, 28 you understand what I, what i'm trying to explain here if you consider it as a cyclic loop right so 26 then 27 and 28 b becomes 28 so 28 minus 25 is again plus 3 right so clearly the odd one here is option 2 right odd one here is option 2 right 5 minus 3 is 2 28 minus 25 is 3 7 minus 5 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, 23 minus 21 is 2, 20 minus 17 is 3. But in this case, it is giving us minus 2 and minus 3. So option 2. Now, there are different ways of looking at it. I'm sure if you try some other logic, you may find some other answer there. Like, like one of the comments here is that the odd one should be GEDA because all the other words have got only one vowel, has got only one vowel, right? Here, E is the only vowel, U is the only vowel. Here also U is the only vowel. But here we have got two vowels, E and 
a. So that's another way of looking at it and, and I think in such situations uh, we usually say that you have to go with the uh, you know go with a stronger reason here and in my view uh, what we have done with differences uh, looks like a stronger or a solid reason compared to the number of vowels. Sometimes it is based on number of vowels also I don't deny that but here I think uh, option 2 sounds better right because in GEDA we have got two vowels all other words have got one vowel is not that strong a reason as against what we have done here right and, and like I said it again depends these are like perception based right I mean it, it depends on how what has what the examiner has thought about this one right if he has made option three as the answer because there are two vowels then we are in trouble but I would still go for option two right I will go for option two right next find the odd number pair from the given alternative so here we have to find out the odd number pair and this looks to be very simple right I think just look at the differences 52 difference 61 9 43 difference 54 is 11 72 difference 83 is 11 18 difference 29 is 11 so I think the odd one is option one right just based on the differences it can be based on differences multiples prime numbers composite numbers different types of logics are there uh, anything can be asked and there is no end to it right there are infinite such logics so I think the odd one is option one let's go to the next question now this is like a sitter right arrange the following words as per the order in dictionary right so you have to arrange them in the alphabetical order the order in dictionary so just do that try and do that fraudulent fraught fraternity franchise and frantic these are the words given to us so there's no point in looking at f right every word starts with f or in fact every word starts with f r a so forget about those three words right these are common uh, the common letters it doesn't really help what helps is the fourth letter so u u t n n so which is the first one that comes out of these letters u t n n n so again there are two words starting with n this is the first group i would say then comes t right and then comes u right so whatever is the answer it should start with either four or five we want to arrange them in dictionary order right alphabetical order so because the first three letters are common go for the fourth letter so n n fourth letters are n n t u u so if i have to group them i think the words with n will come in the first two positions then the word with t and then the words with u so the first two positions should be four and five four and five or five and four so just you know before checking the next one i think just just verify that right so 5 4 is possible 4 5 is also possible but 3 4 and 4 3 are eliminated now between 5 and 4 decide and you are done you don't even have to arrange the remaining ones so if the fourth word is fourth letter is common go to the next letter next letter here is c fifth letter and here it is t so of course franchise will be the first letter right franchise will be the first letter so we should put 4 and then followed by 5 and then whatever between uh, one two three options here but since there's only one option which starts with four followed by five we can take option two as the answer right so four five three one two we are not worried about the remaining three right we are not verifying this just based on the first two words we can identify here's the next set of questions which one set of letters when sequentially placed at the gaps in the given letter series shall complete it now you know that these are pattern based series right there is a pattern between the number of uh, letters here that we have now again different approaches you can follow any one uh, to find the right answer one one way to solve such questions is to just substitute the options one after the other and see if you find a rhythm in the pattern there i mean if you find a pattern there otherwise try to think about it and then eliminate the options i, I think substituting the options is easier while it takes a little longer but then that's easy to apply right so shall we substitute the options and check let's substitute substitute option one see what happens so option one has got i h j i right substitute i h j i now try to read this out and see if you find a pattern there h i j h h i j h h i j h h i j h and looks like we have already got a pattern right it looks like it is h i j h h i j h h i j h yeah so see i think the pattern is this h i j h followed by h i j h h i j h and h i j h so looks like option one itself is correct right option one is correct or you can also split you can you know th this is one way of doing it substituting by options we are lucky that option one has satisfied otherwise you will have to spend longer uh, a little more time by checking second third and fourth options as well 
The other way to do it is, you know, try to identify the different types of letters. There are three different types of letters. Count the total number of letters. Try to find out splits and all that. But that again sometimes becomes complex. So whichever way, you just try and do it very quickly. Right? Don't spend too much time again. If you're unable to identify the pattern there, just skip and move to the next one. Next question, which number will complete the series? Now this is like a... I, I don't know, even a fifth standard student will answer this question very easily, right? 63, 72, 81, 90 and then 108. So obviously this should be 99. I don't have to tell you why. This, this question should be answered in how many seconds? Zero seconds. I mean, of course, not zero seconds literally, but having read this pattern 63, 72, 81, 90 dash 108, if you take more than zero seconds, then you're not fit for the exam. 